I want to take a moment out now to talk about wireless security. I don't know how many people go out, buy a wireless router for their business, their home, bring it in, set it up, and not turn on the security. You're literally asking for people to come in and start messing with your files. And it's easy. They don't have to be hackers. You've literally left the front door open to your computer. And you know, and I like to think the world is a happy place where we can all have these wireless connections and I can tap into yours and you can tap into mine. But you know, the fact is, is that there are people out there who will tap in and do mean things. Well, it's pretty easy to set up and every router either comes with some, some setup software or a specific address that you type into your Internet Explorer browser to access the security menu. And I'll show you how that works. Actually, if we do here, uh, go to the computer, and we do a search on the available wireless networks, you can see what it returns is a series of different things. Um, some of them have the little lock signal on them, and some of them are open. The D-Link that we're just hooking up right now to show you guys is completely unsecured wireless network, meaning that all I need to do to connect to it is double tap, and it's gonna allow me to make that connection. And if you've got uh, printer or file sharing turned on, people can get in there and mess with your files. And let's show you actually how easy it is to actually get in when it is open. Simply connected to that router now, all I have to do is type in what they call the address. And I'll type that in right now, 192.168.0.1. Now this is the same for many of the routers that are out there. It's standard right out of the box. So basically if you know that number or a slight variation of it, you hit enter and bada bing, I'm into the system. So now, I have the ability to go in and make changes to how it's all set up. So what you'll want to do is before you actually sit, connect to the internet, you want to go in and set this thing up yourself. Well, that's the most important thing. First thing, change the default username and password. Typically that's admin or administrator and the password is password. Anyone that has half a brain that wants to get into your system knows those particular U uh, usernames and passwords. So yep. change it to something that people won't know out of the box. And here's how this works. Right now I'm using a web browser to actually connect to the D-Link router. And the software that's on the D-Link router is acting as a web page and letting me access the information. So as Mike said, I simply go into tools and I go into admin. And if you check out right here, I've got the login name. So right away, Let's change it from admin to something else. Let's just use Mike. And now we want to put Because no one will guess that. No one will guess Mike. <laughs> but then we'll put in a password too. And, we'll, and usually a combination of letters and numbers is the best way to go. So I'll put M1K3. Another big thing to do is to turn on the encryption. So once you've got that username and password set up properly, turning on the encryption makes it virtually impossible for anyone to get in unless they have the 10 digit uh, encryption key. So there's two types. There's WEP spelled W-E-P, and that's been the standard for a number of years now with the wireless B networks. Mm -hmm. And now with wireless G, they've got a, a new, more secure standard called W-P-A. So we're going to show you how easy it is to set up that security. Simply, again, I'm in my main menu here. I go to Setup, and what I do is I go to the wireless settings now. Drop that down, and from here you have a few of those different choices. Now, if you're going to set WEP, which Mike mentioned is one of the older ones, that's because you may have a computer that is using the B network to connect to this wireless network. But if all your computers are one of the newer ones with the higher networks... On the G On the standard. G, use the WPA, which is a higher level of security. So another thing, once that's all set up, you're going to be typing in the, the special encryption key and make sure that you don't forget it. Write it down somewhere uh, or commit it to memory. And every time that you want another employee or someone in your house to log on or be able to log on to your wireless network, you have to type that security key in for them or give it to them if you uh, obviously trust them. Also, there's something on here called SSID, and that's basically broadcasting the name of your network. And you'll want to change that right away. Typically, out of the box, it's either default or D-Link or Linksys, the, the name of the manufacturer. And when people are browsing for wireless uh, access points that are open, if they see that it's default or D-Link or, like I said, one of these other manufacturers, they know that you probably haven't set up any security. So name it something that uh, you'll be familiar with. Another thing you can do uh, with a lot of these routers is that you can also turn off the broadcasting of that SSID, the, the name of your network. By turning that off, if someone is doing just a basic search for open wireless networks, it's not going to come up in their window. One more thing, and literally there are dozens of things you can do to make your computer more secure on a, a network, is also to turn on MAC address filtering. Every type of device that can connect to a network has what's called a MAC address. It's almost like a unique 
address, like a street address, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, if you type in the specific MAC addresses for all the different devices and laptops that are going to be accessing the networks, then only those things can get in and then you have a really, really secure network. So again, in summary, make sure that you change the admin and the password from the default to something that people won't be guessing. Also turn on the wireless encryption, whether that's WEP or WPA. And make sure that you change the SSID, which is the name of your network, or even turn the broadcasting of that off. And finally, if you feel so inclined, turn on the MAC address filtering so that you can specify what specific computers and laptops you want to log on to the network. And if you can do that, then uh, you've got a pretty secure wireless system set up. And I was going to say, I refreshed the network list and there's our get connected with the little lock that just came up. We're protected.